Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how you can stop stuff from spawning really simply. We're going to be using the planes as an example. The first time you go, you got to clear all the enemies out, so you will need some equipment or gear to be able to do that. But once you've cleared them through just once, you can actually make it safe. The materials you'll need are really, really simple. Uh, you should probably use a root harness just because it makes being in the planes way easier because the mosquito basically don't hurt you anymore. And then you'll need twice as much stone as you have wood, roughly, to make a bunch of campfires. It's useful to have the belt like this and some whatever food you can get. Ideally. So here we are at the planes of choice. Now, I really like islands that are meadows with some planes on them. Because when you build your base, you can farm everything. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do if you have a little bit of the plains biome right there. But unfortunately, the plains spawn some pretty gnarly monsters. So we kind of need to turn off its spawning. Basically, there's a bunch of items that stop enemies from spawning. And long story short, the best one to use is the campfire. And this is just because enemies don't attack campfires. So everything else, when you place it, the enemies will try and destroy it, basically. Whereas with the campfires, they'll just leave them alone. And also, the campfire does not need to have any fuel in it or be lit. Just the presence of this means that monsters will no longer spawn around like 20 meters away. And you can know how far it is just by placing a workbench, just like this. You see how off in the distance there, there's that white band? That's how far this fireplace has blocked spawning. Before I can continue, I need to clear out uh, the proper monsters. So I need to look around this plains and make sure I kill all of the mosquitoes and everything that might screw me up while I'm placing these campfires. Ah, here we go. Here's a mosquito. Or a death skeeter, right? Now theoretically, I should basically be immune to these things because of this harness. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harsh. Okay, there's our death skeeto. Oh, oh, shit. Here's another one. Nope. <laughs> you really, if you just have this one piece of armor, it looks like there's one more, right? Oh, there's two. Double. Nice. Okay. So, basically, I, I've killed what's here, but if I keep running around and if it goes to night, then the plane's are just going to repopulate with some goblins and some other things, especially if it's nighttime. But now that I've killed those, I can just run around and place these campfires. And again, you can place the campfire and then just look at the workbench to see how far away the circle is, right? And now I've kind of gotten a sense for how far I can go, so I'm just kind of gonna run around and occasionally place a campfire. It's better to do them a little bit too much than too little. Here we go, now you can see we have campfires everywhere. While you're running around and placing them, you might notice that enemies respawn. And that's just because in Valheim, when you're moving, you're kind of changing the active area. So if you run away, and I go like all the way over here up into this meadow, and then I come back down over into the plains, then I'll trigger spawns again, unless I have all these campfires. <laughs> So while you're setting everything up, you might notice some respawns. And the best way to test it is to wait until it's nighttime and then run around. All right, I ran far away into the meadow and you can see that it's nighttime now. And here is our, oh, oh, this Duskito must have been in the black forest because it's almost dead. Or it caught fire, that's funny. So it looks like I, didn't get close enough to this biome here, so I need another fireplace, like right there. It's probably fine. Now I should be able to just run around and not find any goblin or any death mosquitoes or anything, even though it's nighttime and I'm running around in the plains. Ah, <laughs> you can see how there's a little island over there and goblins spawned over there on the island. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But over here, this looks fairly safe. It also looks really cool. 
it looks solid. There's no enemies around, and as you saw with that goblin island over there, the enemies show up like immediately at night, so it's a great way to test it. Thanks for watching, everybody! If you liked this video, then comment below with anything you'd like to learn about Valheim. And if you want to support my work, then please check out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated server for your friends to play on in Valheim. It's about $20 a month, and I show you everything you need to know to set it up and get it working really easily. Your friends on Xbox or PC will be able to join, and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do with it. You can also check out the other videos on my channel. I make a bunch of videos all about Valheim. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.